Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 40 one-liners that every developer must know and start using it in your projects. In the last two episodes, we covered about conditional statement and arrow functions. Today, I'm going to show you yet another extremely important concept which can be achieved in one line, which is object destructuring. When you're working on any real-time enterprise application or any serious application you will have objects that you will work with and chances are that when you are processing that particular object you will do a lot of logic instead you can just start using object destructuring this is part three of the series let me show you in the code right away all right i'm going to throw in a new file call it js40 part three dot html and doc type HTML head and body and we'll throw in an internal JavaScript and this is where we'll write our object let's say you have an object say person and you have some attributes and keys to it say name and you're going to give arc tutorials and you can have some more uh, features let's say website <coughs> https arc tutorials.com so this is what you have an object right now what is object destructuring so you can really extract any information that you want from this particular object just by writing like this so see now you extracted the values directly from an object without doing any processing right now chances are that it, your object could be really complex right it could be it could span multiple key value pairs and um, something like say whatever um, established right 19 so you have you can have many attributes in an object but you need only few so you can just write this object destructuring it would pull the value and just do console.name and console.website and you get only those values from the object directly that is called object destructuring let me show you that in action now this is something that I use heavily when I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis because extracting information from a particular object has to be more simple way rather than going through each object and then processing and knowing I can only pull what I want and that's the most uh, beautiful way to do that now if you don't want certain thing you can just it would tell you the object especially when you're working with frameworks where you have bigger objects it's very very easy to extract only what you want okay that's one of my favorite uh, one-liners that I use which is object destructuring extract details values that you want and process them in the code right so that's object destructuring for you. I hope um, it's clear and I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, <coughs> please do hit that like button for me. Please do let me know in the comment section what you feel about this series and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining. We'll continue this series in the next episode. I'll talk about arrow destructuring. All right. That's again a sim simple one liner, but very, very useful. So continue your learning with me. See you in the next episode.